Well, that sure is flickery and flashy. So, a fun fact, I don't know if you know this, a lot of people actually, surprisingly, a number of people don't, the frequency for yeah. lights and electricity in Tokyo and in Kansai is different. So, when I'm in Tokyo and I'm shooting on my phone, for example, I need to be shooting at 25 frames a second, otherwise I get flickered. But when I go out to Kansai, I've got to change that over to like 30 because it's the difference between 50 and 60 hertz. And today we are hanging out at Akihabara Station and it, that screen is incredibly loud and is 100% yes. going to get us flagged for stuff. So we'll walk right through the station. Good morning, everybody. How is everyone doing? Today we're going to be walking around, doing a little bit of exploring here together. And of course we have a special guest. Yeah. Take off my sunglasses. <laughs> hey Sherry, how's it going? Good, good, good. It's a little chilly, but... Good. It is, it is. It's chilly and windy today. It makes you wonder how people dress like that. That has yeah. got, that has got to be cold. <laughs> that has got to be cold. So we're going to go this way. And it's around for you. There we go. And we're gonna get right into the core of Akihabara today. And I wanna give huge love for Count Giraffe for getting that super chat ball rolling, saying, this is my first time in Japan. And I spent the first, the last three weeks in Fukui. Sadly, today is my last day, but I want to return on a work visa. Is it difficult to acquire one? It really depends on the factors. Um, if you have a university degree, if you have, if you don't, then if you have the money to invest into building a business, or if you have a certain number of experience, certain number of years of experience in a certain field. I've actually done an entire video on visas in Japan, so feel free to go check that out. And if you're learning, if you want to learn how to build up a business in Japan, Sherry's done videos on that. Yeah. Sherry is from Ehime, from Matsuyama. Where in the country is that? And let me, I just love this gigo. Well, this building in general, I enjoy. Yeah. It was a lot nicer when it said Sega instead of gigo. But, you know, they've all changed over. So, Sherry here. Hi, hi Sherry. Hi, hi. And I almost fell off that edge. <laughs> and this guy's getting this view because it's a good view. Look at that view. Ooh. It's just the colorful Tokyo mornings with blue skies. Nice. And we got trains coming up here. Love this scene. Oh, okay. Stop nerding over trains, Norm. We're gonna head this way. I am a firefighter and paramedic, if that helps. Uh, I don't know what job, yeah, I don't know what jobs would be available for a firefighter and a paramedic uh, in Japan. Japan has its own very specific like licensing and all of that. So let me turn this around for just a second. So Sherry has been stuck in the countryside of Japan throughout the pandemic. Yes. And runs several businesses out there, has her own YouTube channel. I did I I think I linked it. I think it's linked in the <laughs> you think? I think it's linked in the description box at least. There Hopefully. should be a clickable link in the description box. Hopefully. And Sherry is actually moving to Tokyo soon. Yes, in like a month or so. Yeah. So exciting. That's like what well, the, the goal is in a month. We're actually we're gonna be <laughs> yeah starting the apartment hunt right. soon and we're gonna be like doing live streams and whatnot of exploring Tokyo and doing Sherry's apartment hunt yes. but we're gonna be doing the majority of those on Sherry's channel yes. maybe the odd one on the Tokyo Lens shorts channel just so I can do random vertical live streams and nothing's this is the lovely thing about like Akihabara Tokyo uh -huh. like the tech gadget anime like cultural center of Tokyo and nothing opens till like 10 or 11 
and then it all closes at seven. What? It is wild. Look at that. Just coffee. Yep. There's an, it's a, this is actually it's overly sweet, so I don't drink it a lot lately. I've never seen this before. But you've never had Max coffee before? No, no, no. this is the first time seeing it. What? Okay, right. do, I, I don't carry coins. Do you have coins? I think so. If we had Suica, we could grab one. But yeah, so we're going to be hunting for an apartment for Sherry. Doing a bunch of that on live stream. And trying to uh, just document her entire process of what it's like to move to Tokyo from the countryside of Japan. Chakujunari. All right, are you in the mood for a hot one or a cold one? Uh, yeah, it's actually a little cold and windy today. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go make it happen, Gavin. <laughs> there we go. Max hey, got. Like there you go. Get your Jew in back. Yep. Things are happening. There we go. And everybody's saying good luck with a great apartment, Sherry. Thank if you. I missed, I think I missed a super chat there from Eva Chan. Eva Chan says, a morning beverage and snack for yourself and Sherry. Thank you very much. Always appreciate you keeping that super chat ball rolling. And we should, okay, we gotta get you Sherry's reaction. Okay. All right. So I have to shake a bit. Do you? Yeah, that's what it says. Here, sure. well then actually, you, all you do is turn it over. I there, there, that was karuku. No. Nice and light. I'm a little scared. But it's it's coffee. It's not soda. It's not gonna explode on you. Yeah, well, you shaked it. It's not. It's not carbonated. Itadakimasu. Hi, dozo. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's it's pretty sweet, mm, but it's good. Moving sweet. on. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. We got Sherry's reaction to this. And Tokyo has been unfortunately windy lately. So if it gets too windy and you can't catch what I'm saying, just let me know down in the comments. And I will repeat worst case scenario if things get out of hand. We did bring mics for later. That is 100% not Pokemon um. at all. That is. Like no, that, no. You can. So. <laughs> Sherry's new to the world, and so she's gonna get to learn many new things. Just so you, this is also not Pokemon, Sherry. Well, I can tell that because it's people. But those are like bears and whatnot. <laughs> so, everybody in on the chat, jumping in now. Hello, good to see you guys. Hello. Hope everyone is doing well. And today we're just going to be wandering. So one of the things you're going to need to know, since Cherry's going to be hanging out a lot at the Tokyo Lens Studio, is you're going to need to know all these back streets of Akihabara and how they connect. Uh, that'll be a challenge because I have no sense of direction. Yep, Sherry's got zero sense of direction. So I'm actually really looking forward to Sherry's live streams. Like, I just want to like put her on camera one day and be like, okay, walk, make it happen. And wow, the wind is just so non-stop and unpleasant. I love this little space. It's one of my favorite spaces. Cause you get the trains coming over and you get this little shrine over here. Oh, cute. Oh. oh it's got the everything, like the bells and the Oh yeah. Eh. It's got the whole thing. And people actually like go and check it out fairly regularly. I actually finish or end a lot of my videos here huh. just because, well, it's a nice little space. There we go. Somebody left a little something. <laughs> there we go. And there we are. It's a nice little space. And. Yo, I'm going to butcher this name. I apologize for that. Yo, Ye, Yehor Brodsky. I hope I got that even slightly close. It's, hello from Ukraine. Take a coffee. It is cold outside. Yeah, so Japan used to have what they call Haruichiba. Oh God, the wind is so unpleasant. Japan used to have what they call Haruichiba. 
and Harikiban is this one really strong wind, like maybe two really strong windy days at the beginning of spring. The last two weeks of weather in Tokyo has either just said wind or rain. <laughs> like no, it hasn't had marks for clouds or sun or anything. It's just said wind. Wind. That's been the weather Aww. forecast is wind. They're saying Sherry. Okay, let me see your phone. They're saying Sherry's channel is not linked in the description. Aww. I'm I'm calling, I'm calling no way because we. We linked it, unless I linked the wrong channel, right at the top of the description where I talk about how it's gonna be me and Sherry walking through, there should be links to each of the channels right in there. Yeah, Tokyo Lens and Sherry Berry. But it's Sherry Berry GP. I don't know why it let me click your face and link that though. Okay, we'll get that linked up in a bit. Thank you for letting us know. All right, jaywalking time. So it's actually kind of funny. The, the jaywalking has become, sorry sir, has become kind of like a theme of the Tokyo Lens Explore channel. And the funniest thing is like, weirdly, the bigger my channel gets, yeah. the more DMs I get. Like so, <laughs> okay. So I showed, Sherry's had the privilege yesterday of seeing some of the very interesting DMs that have been arriving in my like Insta mailbox yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. And one of the DMs that I've gotten the most commonly over I'd say the last three to six months is like angry, angrily saying, stop jaywalking. <laughs> You're ruining Japan. Ruining You're ruining Japan, Japan Norm. <laughs> stop oh, jaywalking. No. So Cherry, on, yes. on behalf of the Gaijins, to the Japanese is, yeah. I want to say I'm so sorry for ruining the Japan. Can, can you ever forgive me? Yeah, I can. Whew. I, can ask. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for, I appreciate it so much. There guys, I've been forgiven for ruining Japan. From it's, a Japanese person. And Silver has a link in your channel there. Thank you so much oh, for that. You. I love it too. This, there was a building here. And it disappeared like overnight. Overnight? Like it was there one day and gone the next. Just gone. So yeah, I didn't realize jaywalking was actually, we should rename it to jay, jay triggering. So, and getting back into our super chats, Masato in here saying, Ohio from CA, I'll be in Tokyo. Thank you, that was very quiet, sir. Uh, I'll be in Tokyo for Star Wars Celebration. Nice. And Amie Willis in here saying, visiting in May from Australia. Can't wait. Unsure. Ugh, every time a new comment comes in, it makes everything. Unsure what clothing to pack. What's the weather and temperature like in May? And it should be. And going to Tokyo, Kanazawa, Aomori. So. Uh, go ahead and say, there's, you're, you're just dressing layers, like bring lots of different stuff. It's going to be impossible to guess the temperature. Uh, like right now, I think it was like seven or eight degrees or something. Uh, but like three weeks ago, it was 24. True. Uh, yeah. It was suddenly like 24 degrees Celsius. And especially uh, if you're going to uh, up north. Uh. Even if in May or June or even summer, it could get you real see a little cold. bit yeah. of like, you know, snow left. Yep. So. so, just bring really comfortable walking shoes. Above all else, just make sure you can get other stuff here. Things in Japan are still affordable. We haven't been hit by we haven't been hit by the same inflation the rest of the world has just yet. So, you'll you'll be okay. Just bring very comfortable walking shoes. Thank you so much for keeping that super chat ball rolling. Appreciate you continuing to go through. So this is actually like in the midst of all the craziness of Akihabara, this is a hotel. Looks nice. Called the Noga Hotel. It's actually every now and then I'll actually crash here for the night Whoa. when I work too late at the studio. Okay. If I can find a deal, because there are all those websites that'll get you like deals on hotels and stuff. 
And if that one pops up, I almost always grab it. And let's head down this way. So Sherry, yeah. how's the transition so far moving, getting ready mentally to move to Tokyo? I don't know, it still like doesn't feel real to oh, me. Fair enough. Like, I feel like I'm just like visiting you guys and I do that very often, right? So yeah, like, I don't know. Like, but this time is the first time that I don't, like I haven't set up a date when I'm going home. Yeah, you don't have a return flight. No, so We're I get could- squished. So like, I could stay as long Dude's as like I like really want. on his phone. He was like oh, literally yeah. like just looking and now he's like chatting and he's it's he's got a lot going on. <laughs> Homeboy's like multitasking. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to distract from your story. <laughs> it's I, okay. I really didn't. I Okay. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. what? Sherry, yeah. I'm gonna go grab a coffee, sure. okay? You do me a favor, you take the gimbal, ah. look at this wall. And tell everybody about all your apprehensions and your excitement about moving to Tokyo while I quickly grab a coffee. Okay. You're in charge of the live stream for the next 45 seconds. All right. To a uh, minute. Are you I, ready? Yeah. Well, yeah. Can do, I, do you want it facing out or do you want it facing you? Facing me might be better. Okay. Facing you. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? All the pressure is on you. Ah. Are you ready? Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, people. So... I'm technically hijacking. <laughs> Normally they hijack my channel, so yay, this is my return for him. There's like a little some painting in the back. What is that? It's a little girl. I don't know. Do they have like a lot of signs? Anyway, so yeah, I just came to Tokyo a few days ago, so I still feel like a, I'm like tourist, right? I'm like going around and then things like that, so I still don't know. Like, I don't still feel like this is gonna be permanent, but hello, hello everyone, hi. I have my coffee in my hand, so I can't really scroll your comments. Like, if I miss any of your comments, just say it again. <laughs> and I try to catch you, but, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I'm drinking my coffee, and uh, <laughs> Norm is peeking through the window over there. Can you see him, like, waving towards us? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey guys, yeah, uh, good luck here, you moved. You're moved to Tokyo, thank you! Onsen? Like my hometown is famous for onsen, like we have the oldest hot spring in Japan. Um, yeah, so I just did a little live stream on my channel going around the onsen area. I subscribe to you, Cherry, thank you, thank you! So. It's like a little quiet here, like the wind is kind of strong, but this is a nice little back street, I guess. What's the biggest change you anticipate moving from country to Tokyo? I think the price of everything, like apartment and then apartment will be probably the biggest one. And then the other small things like, you know, like once you get to know the area, like where to go and what to buy. I'm sure like I can like lower the cost of living, but first like you don't know anything about the area. So, ah, oh, super chat, thank you. As per my count, that would have been exactly 37 seconds. Is it? Oh yeah, or thank you so much. I hope I'm not saying your name wrong. <laughs> Sherry, for, ah. oh, see, it moves nah. every single, you can't, even if you hold your finger on it. Uh, from what city you're moving to Tokyo and what's the reason if it's Ooh. not a secret, let's. That's oh. a good question. So I am moving from a, a prefecture called Ehime. Yep. I'm from Matsuyama city. And the reason why I'm moving to Tokyo is to pretty much expand my business mm. and the connection to people. Cause uh, I live in like a little island. Um, so it's very hard to like, we, we have internet and everything. But... <laughs> you make it sound like you're like on this tiny island of like 300 people. She lives in Shikoku, which does have four prefectures yes. in it. Like even for my city alone, like 500, 500,000 people. That's the population of the city. Really? That's it? 
that's it. But like a lot of people, like when I say it, like oh, I think that's decent amount of people. That's the, that's the reaction I usually get. Uh. However, it's 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 a little far. Like you have to either take a boat uh. or a plane to get on the, the mainland of Japan. So yeah. it's that far. So the ocean kind of like blocks everything. You know, <laughs> so the upper area, like uh, down from Kagoshima up to the the upper half of Ehime there. You know that was the uh, like that was the pirate capital of Japan. What do you mean pirate capital? Like, Japan actually has a very long history with pirates. Ah ah, it's the Murakami. Okay, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember the name. So Japan has a massive and like, you, you, for all you know, you're like, you're the descendant of a pirate. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you you could be a you could be a pirate YouTuber. Pirate. Arr. Yar. <laughs> so. That's a, that's a pretty good kebab stand, yeah. And uh, I don't know if you knew this about kebab stands, but I'm the boss. Oh, are you? Yep. Oh. Every time I go to a, a kebab stand, I'm like, hey boss. <laughs> so, really? didn't know this, I'm learning new things all the time, but I am the boss. So, okay, did I, did I interrupt? Before the super chat, were you in the middle of a story? talking about the cost of living in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah. It's still better than like 90% of places overseas. Yeah, probably. All right, can I get you to hold this for a second yes, so I can yeah. turn this around? So there's this park here. All right, there's this park. And I showed it in one of my night walk videos maybe two or three years ago before I got the studio. But I was trying to get this space originally is my studio. Ah. It's obviously way too small. Yeah. Like that's like probably one eighth. Yeah, this <laughs> is tiny. It's tiny and it's definitely not secure. Right. And I don't know why they haven't peeled the sticker off because when I called, they were like, yeah, no, this building is like, we cannot put a business in this building because it's too old. Okay. So for residents, they can stay there like past a certain amount of time. Yeah. However, to run it as a business, it has to be within a certain number of years. It has mm -hmm. to be under the new code, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. older buildings will get torn down if they're for business use. Mm, but I mean, like, it's pretty old. It is, <laughs> it is severely old. Like a Showa style. And we've had a lot, a lot of earthquakes lately. Mm. So, but this is, this was my original, and you can see the gimbal. This was my original attempt for the Tokyo Lens Studio. And then almost immediately after, I actually found my, my current studio. I like your current studio. Yeah, me too. Okay, we'll go this way, but as we do it, uh, you can pass through here, but the pylons are there because like people live in these houses. Like they actually like, actively live here, so I'm gonna quiet down as we come through here. Yeah. And there's a question in here. Yeah. Are you gonna sell your car? Ah, uh, no, I'm not going to sell my car. Um, You're not? I'm not, I'm keeping it. Okay. Actually, that was partially, so I have my blue car. Okay, yeah. Um, that kind of one that I liked huh. very much, but um, it was beneficial for me to just sell it and then get a new car. Yep. But I knew that I was going to come to Tokyo, move to Tokyo in the next five, six years. Then that suddenly just happened in like, you know, three months. Huh. Um, but when I do that, I had to get rid of the car. I don't huh. know, like, you know, like overseas, but in Japan, the car's value drops drastically huh. as, as, as you sign a contract. Yeah, yeah. So when you sign a contract and you, let's say like if you want to sell it the next week or something, you can't make a profit off of it. Yeah, that's pretty much international. So you have to wait an, at least five years to make it, like make it square. Oh. Then, so I couldn't sell it. Gotcha. So I got the really small compact car huh. for my mom. Gotcha, okay. So I was driving it for a little while, about a, uh, about a year. Oh. And, but uh, I am going to give the car to my mom. Nice. Like a 
farewell gift. Ah. Because like her car, she has been driving the same car for like 10 years and then it can't broke down anytime soon. And if yeah. you live in the countryside with a car, it's very hard to get around. No car in the countryside is, is a death sentence. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. With well, thank car. you for sharing your car story with us. That was quite the car story. <laughs> and Chelsea Carpenter in here keeping that super chat ball rolling saying, I love being able to watch you walk around Japan. Makes me feel like I'm still there. Hey man, you look like you know your place around. You know uh, this place? Yeah, how's it going? I'm Norm. Hi Norm. <laughs> How you I doing? know I've been trolling you on the video. <laughs> oh, that's trying wonderful. to catch you up. Absolutely love being <laughs> randomly sniped without inviting me. It wasn't so much. random because I saw your view, but I'm staying in Akihabara at the super hotel down there. Oh, uh, no way, Whoa. eh? Maybe if wow. I run and catch you, I can meet you at last. That's fantastic. Do you want to get a quick photo together? Yeah, oh, sure. Let's that'd be do great. that. Here, have you? Hold it. Yeah, we're going to try it and hold it. This is fun. <laughs> I literally did an entire live stream of just this. I think you watched it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. You I chatted. Did. <laughs> what a time. Okay. Axel, thank you so much. Right. I'm going to go back to my hotel and get back into my pajamas. <laughs> Have a great trip. No worries. It's been grubby. Last couple of days, ugh, it was going to rain whole holiday. Like, enjoy today. It's going to yes. be like this beautiful all day. No worries. Take awesome. care. Have, Have, a good a, one. Have a great time. Thank you. Thanks right. a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was awesome. So we did the, uh, we did the, what's it called? Uh, escaping from viewers live stream that is by far the most fun I have ever had on a live stream and I think when the so okay all all like construction hissing and sagawa guys aside I think I can do this I'm trying so hard to hold this thing out I think I can do this Ooh. oh that's a lot better yeah so Construction noise aside, the channel, the main channel, is about 2,500 or less away from hitting a million. Oh, sorry, thank you. So thank you so much. <laughs> and when the channel rolls over a million, the Explore Always Tokyo Lens merch line is gonna disappear. That's it. That way I know who was there before a million and we get to share that memory and connection. And. I've, I've not decided where we're going. I'm just walking <laughs> aimlessly. But I like, want to avoid the main streets because they're so noisy. Right. So we'll head this way. And I think when I release the, the new lineup, which you've seen. Oh, What yeah. do you think? I love it. Like, I love Sherry's, myself. Sherry's trying to steal yeah. the new, like, she's like, can I have this? I'm like, no. <laughs> Let's walk down. Ooh, this is nice and narrow. And we'll flip, flip. This is why I'm choosing to walk. You know, we're really just coming to the other side of the construction now. Yes. Yeah. And, okay, so Chris Jones said you need to get a selfie stick. See, look, look, it's got a stick. Can you see the reflection? It's got a long stick here. It's just the, uh, the inside camera, we have to, can you like see how, I need to reflect this. The inside camera is just not wide. So we need uh, to hold yeah. it out really far. So we, uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do another like hunt me in Tokyo <laughs> live stream on this channel this time. Uh, and that way uh, I can kind of I just enjoyed the, I just enjoyed the chase. <laughs> I enjoyed the whole like escaping from individuals chasing me through the city. That was really well timed too. We had somebody like every 10 to 15 minutes yeah, catching yeah, yeah. me. So. Well, like you were running for like hours, right? Yeah. And <laughs> now you know how heavy the bag is. Oh yeah. Sherry tried to lift my bag the other I day did. while we were at the studio. And she's like, wait. Do you carry this all the time? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Weighed it. It was only like it was it was like, it was like 17 kilograms. How much is that in pounds? 
Can somebody let me know how much 17 kilograms is in pounds? That's not bad. Because we've had like 25 kilogram days. 30 pounds, something like that. So, okay, let's. It's not. Oh, this actually, like, having this extended like this makes it so much harder to carry. Oh, is it? And, yeah. I'm gonna de, de extend it and hope I don't break it. Uh, and then we're gonna turn it around and start exp Okay, we're gonna chase this guy. Oh, oh, we're back! Yay! Yay, I think we scared that guy. Yeah, you're like, what the hell? <laughs> uh... <coughs> <Is he> okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's saying insufficient memory may lead to a shutdown of the app. This, this app uh, loves to freeze up if you don't have uh, like a ton. I'm like so afraid to turn the camera around now. So this app will completely just like die if you don't have a ton of space on your phone. Oh. Yeah, so you gotta keep your phone empty. Let the exploration continue. That was uncomfortable. It's getting warmer though. It is, it's getting a lot warmer. I'm actually starting to get a little like hot. Gotta open up the, see this is why I don't typically, say... thank you Sherry. I do and you know, we gotta go wide. There we go. This is why I don't typically like have a drink while I'm streaming. Aside from the fact that I don't carry coins. It's also like, I need to like flip the camera around and stuff and like manage comments. And I cannot do that while holding a drink. And Alexandria in here, keeping that super chat ball rolling with a very generous super chat saying, good morning boss. Japanese pirate stories sound like a great next video for the main channel. Arr. I've actually like kind of looked into it. Yeah. There was a while where I was like, I want to do pirate stories. I want to do a whole thing on Japanese pirates. Oh. And I think it'd be a ton of fun. Uh, what time are we looking at right now? So it is 940 in the morning and still the vast majority of the shops aren't open. I tried to build a computer years ago. And actually they've extended their hours. Yeah? So, still. 11.30? This is like one of the best shops for building out a computer in Akihabara. Uh, and they open at 11.30, 11 on weekends, by the way. Like, that's, how does that feel? That, that, that's really bad for business. It's really bad for everything. And they close as early. now it used to yeah it used to be 11 30 to 7 yeah. so they've really extended it we appreciate you but that is that is wild oh. so <clears throat> all right i think we're gonna slip into the main and allison in here with a super chat sticker thank you so much for keeping that ball rolling appreciate that and everybody's asking for a pirate video now You know what? I've never walked down. Look at this. Well, like in the shop, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the quintessential like Tokyo Drift little corner like motor shop. That is that is really cool. Like, what happened to the, the Japan so Post bike yeah. here? Yeah. Wow. 
Just the collection of stuff. Very interesting. Okay, we'll head down this way. I, uh... Yeah, a lot of these shops are run by one set of staff. And that's why it's only one shift. So okay. if the staff are there for eight hours, yeah. the shop is open for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are these like a made cafe? So these will be made and concept cafes. Concept cafes. <clears throat> yeah, so they're not all maids, right? Have you ever noticed they're not all made? Some of them are ninjas. Some oh. of them are like upside down. Upside down. Some of them are like Mr. Me Six. They're like a whole bunch of stuff, right? So this one, yeah, this one is like a concept cafe, right? These ones might be a mate. Wow, sorry for the flicker. Ted, stop flickering. Why are you doing that? What if I put my hand in front of it? Does it stop? Stop flickering. And that is so unpleasant. So we're going to move on from that. But yeah, like this one, they, they probably dress like mm. in a China dress. A oh, China dress, yeah, yeah, yeah. China and like, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and no, the shops don't close up for lunch. Their staff just take lunch at different times. Someone will take lunch at like 12. Someone will take lunch at 2. Someone will take lunch at 3. It's usually not just one person. That's the weird thing, though. Like... They've got all these people working there. They've still got like five, six, seven staff in the shop, but they'll just keep them there for that eight hour shift. <laughs> it's not like there's only two staff or something. Like this one here and the cage outside is just so depressing to see. But this one here is a rabbit lover's cafe. So it's like a cat cafe, but rabbit version? Like you can pick them? Or I, it could be both. It could be girls dressed like rabbits who let you <laughs> pet I'm actual rabbits. I like, Which one? <laughs> it legitimately could be both. I think, oh, let's go on a hunt. Huh? There might be like a booklet around here somewhere huh. that like will have like a collection of maid cafes in it and we can take a peek. Mm. And as we do that, a very kind super chat in here from Randall saying, all hail the mighty Tokyo lens. It felt really weird to read that one out loud, but thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And another super sticker in here from Allison saying, just happened to walk by you five minutes ago. Allison, was that you at the convenience store? Was that you? Or were you walking by on the street? All right. So, sometimes you will see near some of the made cafes little like things with booklets out and they have like a collection of the made cafes and whatnot in the area so if we can find one of those i can show you what kind of made cafes are around now you get the the daytime made cafes but most of them are like evening and like nighttime Okay. Weirdly, if you walk around Akihabara at 2 o'clock in the morning, there's still maids on the street trying to grab customers. What? Yeah. And something tells me those cafes are probably a little bit different. <laughs> probably different. Is this illegal though? Uh, well, all of it, they've asked. <clears throat> so, if you pay attention to the, the street here, you will see, like here, Sherry. No. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't pull in customers from yeah. the street. So technically, these maids all standing on the street trying to pull in customers are like bre breaking the, the, the Chiyoda like bylaw or whatever it is. You know what? I've never, I've never gone in here and I'm curious. It says it's a trading card game vending machine. Oh, trading card. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. This one feels like it's got some risk in it. Yeah. Yeah, you might get you might get like crazy good Pokemon trainer cards and stuff. Mm. At first I was gonna say like, okay, so we got Pokemon, 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 and but it's all Pokemon. It's all Pokemon. It's all po don't look like Pokemon. There are a lot of people. So the thing is, 
Uh, I don't know about overseas. That is just the most... I always feel really bad carrying around a suitcase with yeah. roller wheels because it's just like the most obnoxious sound. <laughs> so, have you ever had to leave your area in the morning and like roll a, a suitcase? Or, no, because you don't live in the city. <laughs> <laughs> so these Pokemon cards, the trainer cards with like female characters, not all of them, but a lot of them yeah. will sell for insane prices. <gasps> like Gojuman toka. Hyakuman to ka. Why? Yeah. They're not even Pokemon. They're not even Pokemon. <laughs> I love how... Also, insanely eco-friendly. <laughs> well, they're paper. This is, this is wild. That is a lot of just empty boxes. Yep. So... Well, I give is this the actually the price? We've all rolled suitcase through the cities. It's it's wild. Well, they're all sold out too, so you like yeah, you can't even like, push yeah. it to find out. But like, well, let's, let's yes, that is the price. Whoa. That I is thinking, hobo hobo ichiman. I was like more thinking of like you know five hundred yen or something. Like even for these, like three thousand, one thousand. Yep, three thousand yen, a thousand yen for oh, these. There we go. We have like five hundred. There you go. Those ones aren't too bad. You might get... These ones are my question. Like, yeah, what like, in yeah. the world have we got going here? It's like 3,000, and then there is like Atari 3. So random... Okay. 3,000 yen for these Pokemon cards. Mm. This is just bonkers. Also, uh, one of these... Well, I mean, three. These three are like Atari. Uh, so that means like expensive ones. Yeah. So the, if you if you get one of those, you know, those but are those are good ones. It's They'd kind be, of like a lottery that like you yeah, don't know what to it's get. It's a lottery. Everything's a lottery. Uh, Everything's a giant gamble. Interesting. Just walking out on the street is a gamble. We could be hit by a car right now. <laughs> and AVO in here saying so excited. Caught you live. Tokyo Land is my favorite travel content. Thank you. You rock, Norm, and your guests are always the best. Best guest. Thank you. A guest that is Sorry, the best. Sorry, I was focused on the pigeon. Hello, pigeon. <laughs> Pigeon's just chilling. Yo, want some coffee? <laughs> some energy. Oh, he didn't care about the pigeon. Sorry, man. We're not all like that. You want, you want a drink? Is that a no? I'll take that as a no. We're moving on. Uh, you know, every now and then, you just got to offer a pigeon a coffee, you know? This is, this is life advice that I recommend that we follow. So, as you can see off in the distance there, yeah. we're starting to get the, mil the maids like filtering in for their jobs. <laughs> but one of the reasons that the maid cafes, and it's, I didn't realize there's like such a dark side of their world, but obviously there's gonna be. But one of the reasons, see like she doesn't hide her face right now, right? And one of the reasons is because this like no kekubiki thing. Uh -huh. Turns out that, like, we always thought that they were just hiding their face because they don't want to be on camera, right? Right, right, right. They're hiding their face because they can't be there, and that's evidence of them being there. Right. So You're it's, recording it. Yeah, it's literally evidence of them doing something that they're not supposed to be so doing. like the cops can, like, oh, yeah. arrest them? Oh. Well, I don't know about arresting, I'm but arresting the them. other night I watched a female officer yeah. walk through, like, a video game and collect this, like, this group of maids, just one by one, with me, with me, with me, right? And it was like, it was like watching the lead character followed by a bunch of NPCs. <laughs> her group just kept getting bigger as she walked around. And like some maids would see her coming and quickly pack up their stuff and go, right? But like a lot of them would just hold their ground and then she would just walk up really gently and friendly with a smile, talk to them for a minute. And then they would just join the group and walk away with her. Yeah, I had no idea what was going on. I was insanely curious. What do you think was happening? I don't know, though. As a business owner, the possibility is that those are just employees, right? Yep. So they may or may not know what they're doing is wrong. Oh. So, like, maybe, like, the, the, the female cop. Oh. That's oh, just like, like, to try to, like, like, sweet talk into those girls. And oh. you're doing anything. I just want to know the information, like, and then try like to build up the evidence against the owner. Yeah. 
This is like one of my favorite things about Japan. Hmm. Whenever you see a no smoking sign, yeah. you'll almost definitely see someone smoking next to it. <laughs> and in the same breath, whenever you see no bicycle parking, yeah. there'll always be bicycles parked yeah. there. Sorry, I, I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the most Japan thing ever. Because like even if like they, the, there is a security guard or something, uh. they were like, the only thing that they can do is like, oh, no parking, no parking, nope. and that's it. And then they don't do anything. I'm like, if, I, if you're like apologetic, and then they're like, just try not to do the next time. <laughs> and yet I get slammed for jaywalk. Because <laughs> I'm ruining Japan. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I saw this on the ground. Just lost its stickiness, but we gotta we gotta try, right? We can't just let it like fly away. Please stay. I think we're okay. I think we're all right. Yes, it's a Pikachu vending. I just don't. My fingers are crossed for you. Wishing you all the best of luck. This store is always fun. They've got all the pens. For a while, they had a bunch of the uh, the old McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toys from the 90s. Mm. And I was like, oh, I gotta come back later and get them. And I, they must've been really popular because by the time I got back, they were almost all gone. Mm. And if I wasn't gonna buy the set, then there wasn't much of a point. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, what? Oh. That is cool. All right. Dang, no captions enabled. Yeah, uh, I don't know if uh, YouTube has a live captions function. I really like these bowls. Are they, they look like they'd be Fire King. These old Fire King mugs and whatnot in Japan, as you know, get very expensive. That Chippendale one is 5,000 yen. Mm. Yeah. And Shane in here saying, Hey Norm, I'm in Sumida. What's the best place in the local area other than Sky Tree? Also, would be awesome to meet up. That would be awesome. Schedule has been really tight lately, so I haven't been able to do a meetup even for Patreon in the recent days. Uh, Shio Edi Park. Take a look at my video on hidden sakura spots. Shio Edi was fully bloomed like a week ago, so it might be a little bit less now, but I highly recommend that area. Oh my goodness gracious God, are you serious? What? Can we like... What? Noon. Noon, Sherry. That's not business. No, it's not. So, like even in the countryside, the malls will open from like 9 a.m. Yeah, at a normal time. Yeah. yeah. And then here you are in the core of Tokyo with businesses opening like, at It must noon. be very efficient, because like with those like short business hours, they can like pay the rents, right? And Bay Ricker saying that it would be really nice to add a, uh, like a live map while you're streaming. While we don't have live maps, a lot of the streams, the color 12 has actually come in and uh, done, what's it called? Like maps for us? and posted them after so you can follow those. I also, on my most recent YouTube video, I have linked a link to my new mailing list, my newsletter, because I am going to start sharing little hidden route maps and secret spots and updates, and there's too much stuff for me to put in videos, and I don't have the physical time. I wanna turn this around. I simply don't have the physical time to put everything in videos anymore, but there's so much I want to share, including like the, the routes to our walks. And like, you know, if while we're searching for apartments for Sherry, we're going to get so many resources, right? We're going to learn so much from it. And I'm probably not going to do like a whole, let's go this way. I'm probably not going to do a whole dedicated video on that. And so I've put together like a newsletter just to share stuff like that. I did a video a while back. I just really like this. Sorry, I'm so 
I, I just love this little back street here. I did a video a while back on breaking Tokyo down into different areas. Like there's an area just for snowboarding. There's an area for anime and games. There's an area just for jewelry. There's oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, a lot of people were like, oh, this would have been nice if it was like written down. And so, you're, you're welcome by the way. I have decided, I put that all together in like a guide that you could literally just a PDF guide that you can download just for free. And so that is linked on the most recent sound is gone. Ooh. Is the sound really gone? Is the sound gone? Can you guys hear me? That like sounds gone is making me nervous. Yeah. I guess it's not gone because I got people. Repl I think that person just turned off their speakers. <laughs> um, I'll turn this back around here. So, again, all of that is linked on my most recent video. And the most recent video is a night walk through Shinjuku where I try to convince myself to hate the area a little bit less than I do because I'm not a big fan of the area. So, so okay, I got distracted earlier, but this person who's clearly going to a job as a maid later reminded me. So, their job, actually that one, is that, that looks like, okay, both of those are definitely the same person. Yeah. All, Heart of Hearts is here now. I was like, this looks like, okay, I did a video on a maid a while back, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Oh. And that maid was from a cafe called Heart of Hearts. <laughs> and the manager, like the head maid at that place, watch yeah. out so we don't get squished. <laughs> he was nice, I like him. <laughs> was Azusa, and uh -huh. that's her. Oh, that's her? Yeah, I was like, this really looks like the manager from that maid cafe that I did the video like, with. Is it like third they've, floor here? I guess they moved to the third floor here. All right guys, Heart of Hearts is open again. I don't think Memochi is back into the mix, but this is where you'll be able to find Heart of Hearts now. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm really happy about that. Aw, okay. So Chris Lessard in here with a super chat saying, what is the first thing you're gonna do when you hit 1 million subscribers? Don't say going to Disney World. <laughs> Honestly, the first thing I'm doing when I hit 1 million subscribers is opening up a bottle of Hibiki that I got from an old co-worker when I quit my job, what, five years ago to do YouTube? You remember that? I quit, I was given that bottle of Hibiki so is like, so and I've never opened it. Wow. And so I'm gonna get together with good people in real life, relax, have a drink or two, and then get back to work because there are so many videos to be made and I don't really have time to be messing around. <laughs> so. I will take a bit of a break. And there is another super chat in here from Kiz Bartlett say, Norm, love to hear your uh, stint in tricking. Oh well, yeah, yeah, I used to do tricking too and was a frequent member of Trix Tutorials. Trix Tutorials is how Dogen and I got to know each other actually. And uh, I was on a team called Team Raiz, R-A-I-Z-E. Is there any, uh, small training or exam when you want to rent a car or is it just like rent and ride as long as you have an international driver's license it is pretty much just rent and ride i have a japanese driver's license so i am good i went to heart of hearts in 2017 loved it yeah cool this they're really nice I went, like right yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, went yeah. you went and That's like fun. i so I chose that place solely because it doesn't feel like the like creepy salesy trying to get your money kind ah. of made cafe. Like they actually were really, really kind and just genuinely good people. Uh. And I was like, oh my God, if I'm going to make a video on a place, people are probably going to end up going there. Yeah. It better be like a nice place with good people. And so that's why I chose Heart of Hearts huh. because we talked to like, I think nine made cafes mm -hmm. and some of them are like, okay, I got some let me turn this around. Let me turn this around and tell you guys some like dark, dark made cafe stories, okay? 
So we're gonna walk up this way, but I think it's gonna pump us out onto a main road that'll be no idea. <gasps> I know where we should go. Follow me. I have an idea. Okay. It's gonna be a little noisy for a second, but as we go, I will share some like crazy made cafe stories with y'all. All right. So there's no place to cross. So we'll just, we're gonna frogger it. Froggering it across. See guys, jaywalking. I look forward to your DMs. I'll see you real soon. All right, so there we go. So, may, oh, that's a pretty car. So if you guys don't know, if you've never seen this before, this is called a Honda Civic. Okay, it's got 25 horsepower and it was actually made by the Germans in 1342. What most people don't realize is that wings actually come out and unlike a traditional airplane, this one flaps its wings like a bird. No, I'm kidding, none of that. <laughs> Sherry's like, like, Sherry's like nodding her head like, like wow, oh, wow, really, I had no idea. <laughs> no, none of, no. This is, this is a McLaren and it's a very fast and very fancy. I like the color. <laughs> yeah, so, and Kiz Bartlett in here saying, I knew I recognized your old footage. I swear Team Ray's uploaded to that big FTP server regularly on Trix tutorials. Yes, we did. Uh, and we used to go out regularly tricking with Team Ryoko because we knew all those guys. Chris Mark uh, actually just came and visited me in Tokyo like a few months back and we hung out and did flips in the Tokyo Lens studio. So, okay, we're gonna come around here and then where's the staircase? Maybe we'll go this way. We're just zigzagging at this point. Sherry has no idea what she's in for right now. No, not at all. There we go. Tokyo Lens is now hosted by some guy named Jay Walkin. <laughs> That's, I like it, I like it. Hi guys, I'm your host, Jay Walken, and today we're doing Tokyo Lens. All right, I love it. That's gonna be like, oh my goodness. I 100%, I think the new Tokyo Lens sweaters need to be revamped to have like uh, endorsed by Jay Walken on the like sleeve, or at least on the tag. <laughs> Just saying, hey, I love your live streams. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love you being here for them. All right. Sherry's, <laughs> Sherry's like, are we, are we going up? Yes, we are. So and, okay, so, so Sherry. Yep. I'll tell you what. I will give you 10,000 yen mm. if you can beat me up the stairs. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> not worth it. So Sherry, uh, Sherry's not a big fan of stairs. No or movement no. or mornings. No. So when I invited her out to meet me this morning for a live stream, she was like, what? Morning? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, you first you were saying like maybe five, right? Uh, well, well, cause usually, usually <laughs> I do these at five. Right. And I'm like, five? I'm like, I'm dreaming. And so I figured, you know, we'll start a little bit later just to be nice. <laughs> Thank you. And so we started four hours later. Four hours later. <laughs> and then we were still late for the start of the live stream. <laughs> so, all right, who is Jay Walken? So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Jay Walken. I'm, I'm always Jay Walken. See, we've made it up this much. Yep. And what I'm doing is I'm creating these little opportunities like this huh. to allow Sherry to rest a little bit. Oh, thank you. Well, okay. Uh, can I can I share the reason why you don't like stairs? Okay, so over the past couple of years, Sherry actually developed asthma. Yeah. And so these live streams are tough enough on Sherry. And so it's why I'm stopping at each landing to give her a chance to kind of recover a bit. Because <laughs> these look like normal stairs, but they're like oddly steep, actually. Like this yeah. is quite vertical, so. Norman's a morning person then? Absolutely not. Oh, Sherry. Ooh. In my infinite distraction, I forgot to share the Maid Cafe story. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, don't get distracted. Okay, and Silver saying, turns out I can't post addresses in Super Chats. So Heart of Hearts new address is on the Patreon Discord. Thank you very much. We've been going crazy on Discord lately, having a ton of fun. Also, Patreon got access to the newsletter. 
like over a month in advance. So that was fun. Usually there's a giant car here. Okay, all right. Crazy Maid Cafe stories. So I didn't know this, but yeah. Maid Cafes are not just Maid Cafes. They, the girls will often participate in like idol competitions. Okay. And do like dance offs and stuff like that. Oh. It's a very competitive world. Okay. Now, the other thing is, the maid cafes aren't particularly cheap, as you may know. Right. Oh, let's actually take a peek at the stairs from above. But in order to bring in some extra revenue, yeah. a lot of these maid cafes are actually doing like live streams until like two, three, four, five in the morning. Ooh. So the girls will start work at like, you know, 6 p.m. or something okay. and be working clear through till like five or six in the morning. Wow. And it is really, really hard on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the Japanese government has recently been cracking down on a lot of these. Cool. And a lot of like maid cafes have been paying the price for it. Because it's kind of like a, a different branch of the business. It's outside of business hours. Right. Like, you know, scope of businesses. Sherry will know more about this than anybody. Huh. Ooh, it's windy. Also, I want Sherry's like reaction, and there's a Porsche that's about to back into us. <laughs> uh, so, when you create a business in Japan, you actually have to kind of define the scope of your business. Uh -huh. And those are the things that you're kind of allowed to make money from. This is a generalization, but, whoa, that just fits. <laughs> yeah, but if you're doing stuff outside of the scope of your business and trying to claim that revenue under your business or hide the revenue, worse, watch it, you're gonna get squished. Yeah. You're gonna get squished. It's oh. <laughs> uh, so quiet, I didn't know. All right, so here's what, we, here's what we were talking about. This just fits. Quiet. Yeah. It's an expensive car, right? It's not cheap. <laughs> All right, so I, I wanna get, I wanna get Sherry's reaction you don't expect to see this in the middle of Akihabara. This is wow. Sherry's first ever reaction to Kanda Miyojin Shrine. It's huge. It's massive. Yeah, there's a waterfall over there. And we've got some uh, cherry blossoms here. So funny, funny story. Anytime you share early cherry blossoms in Japan, yeah. You get all the like cherry blossom experts being like, those aren't cherry blossoms, they're yeah, plum. It's, yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not. And like, they don't, I think a lot of people don't realize you have different types of cherry blossoms. And that's so peaceful. I love the peaceful backing up of the trucks in the morning. Oh, yeah, and I think I'm pretty much caught up on super chats. If I missed any, please let me know. But we've got Rowan in here saying, hey, Norman, Sherry, Miss you. Sherry, what's the plan? Let's get into here where it's not like truck noises galore. Yeah. All right, Sherry, what's the plan? What's the plan for the whole like moving out to Tokyo? Yeah, what's the plan? Actually, in my like, first time in my life, I think I haven't really planned anything. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a planner. I plan every single step of the way. Reach the goal, but this time I know everyone in Tokyo. I uh, <laughs> she's just like they'll take care of me. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just like simply want to like enjoy first, because like this is from, probably the like the first free moment that I ever had in the past. I don't know, ten years. Yeah. 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 Sherry started her business at what twenty two. Yeah. And has not stopped moving for a so. day. So Sherry has earned some. Sherry has definitely earned some time to have no plan and relax. This is the waterfall that Sherry was so excited about. And this is Stephen McWetface. That's his name. Stephen McWetface. <laughs> and that's his big brother, Stephen McDryface. That's uh, that's impressive. You know, 
they, they weren't like this. It was just like a normal lion. But for some reason, my dad always kept a stone lion about this tall, huh. like in front of our house, like my entire life. And every time we moved, he absolutely made sure that we took this giant stone <laughs> lion. I have no idea where he got it. I've never asked him what the history of it is. I 100% should ask, but like, you'd always know where my place was because it had the giant stone lion out front. I feel like he probably stole, <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, and Mike Cruz in here with an insanely kind super chat saying, simply wanted to show my support because I greatly enjoy the content you make and provide for your community. Thank you so much for, oh yeah, there's, there's a horse named Akari. Akari Akari-chan. This is Akari. And continuing on that, uh, thank you for being you and keeping up, keep up the incredible work. Waving to you from Philadelphia, USA, Mike. Mike, that is insanely kind of you. Thank you so much for that wildly yasashi super chant. And here's Akari here. Hi, Akari. How you doing? Everybody's, everybody's saying hi. <laughs> hi to the pony. So I actually felt really bad because one morning I was walking through here, I think on a live stream yeah. and oh, I thought he's eating plastic and I saw a gentleman like walking a cutty yeah. and I was like, well, that is really cool. There's just a horse walking through the shrine yeah. and I was like, I asked him, I was like, oh. and like, I just wanted to be like, can, can you, can you explain the horse please? Yeah. See, Akari has a house here too. That's Akari's house. Ooh, nice house. And like, I felt really bad. We were still at like a decent distance. Yeah. And like, he just snapped and was like, please go away. <sighs> and I was like, oh. Like, yeah. you, like, as soon as that happens, you feel terrible, right? Yeah. You're just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'd Aww. like to go crawl in a hole and die now. <laughs> right? Yeah, so that was my, I think, I think that that was. <laughs> I don't think it is. I just love the like the pure energy and excitement of Sherry, like really discovering <laughs> Tokyo for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> like Sherry genuinely like you've never you didn't even know this existed, did you? No, 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 not at all. So all of this is like truly brand new to Sherry. And she's just learning. I mean, the, the shape looks like Mikoshi. Yeah, it's shaped like a Mikoshi. Mm. It doesn't look like it's like portable though. Yeah, yeah, it's too tall too. Yeah, definitely too tall. That would fall over, almost <laughs> guaranteed. Oh, so. Wow. Oh. All right, let's loop around the back and see what else we can find. The exploration continues and I just stepped in a giant puddle. These are real things that are happening. I feel like there, if there is Mikoshi, they're gonna be hidden within here. Ah, yeah. Possible. I feel like this is where the Mikoshi oh, wow. would be stored and hidden. Yeah, storage. And then, again, the, the craziest part of all of this is just knowing that we're like right in the midst of like Akihabara and Kanda yeah. and Ochanomizu area. Like we are literally a five minute walk from the studio right now, maybe not even. Uh, that like, close. That's how close we are right now, yeah. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> and how did you meet Sherry, Norm? That is a story that goes back into the ages. I used to work for a company here in Japan and they took us out for an event in the area that Sherry was living in. And there were actually a whole bunch of like problems and I was in charge of a bunch of stuff. And Sherry was like, hey, I need help with this. And I dealt with it. And then she was like, actually, you're really good at dealing with this. And I run a business. Can we yeah. chat about business? And then next thing we knew, like we're chatting about business and they asked us to like become the translators. Right, right, right. Right? We worked and on it together. Neither one of us was like quite perfect. Uh, right? So right. but the, the team of the two just became this like amazing translating duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we started like translating for them and everything like that. We had all this like work to do and then ended up working together for like like the better part of two weeks. Mm. 
And then after that, we're like, you know, maybe we can find some projects to work on together. We eventually started a nonprofit organization in Sari's hometown of Matsuyama. And that gave me the opportunity to go out and make YouTube videos and bring shamisen players out there and everything like that. Yeah, we did that too. Yeah. We brought YouTubers out to do promotions. Uh -huh. We got like projects through ANA and Japan Rail and everything. Yeah. And uh, next thing we know, it's been the better part of a decade <laughs> and we're still working on projects together. Yep, yep. So that is how Sherry and I met. So what do you think of Kanda Miyojin? This is massive. Yeah. Like they yeah. even have like a little store? Maybe? Okay, not just a little store. There is a whole like underground performance hall here. There's three floors of stages inside of this, maybe four. And the Yoshida brothers held a giant event here uh, where they got all the like major shamisen players from around Japan in to do like a giant performance. And so it'd be like three stages at once, all these shamisens going, it was wild. And Tokyo Lands Explore just finally got around to subscribing to the Patreon. Nice. Glad to have you there. We have a ton of fun over there. There's actually one Patreon video coming out this week and potentially another one right at the beginning of next month. That's also where we do the meetings and we have our Discord and everything like that. I... I'm really grateful for that side of the community, actually, especially as we're just over, you know, just over 2,000 subscribers away from hitting a million on the main channel. I like these smaller spaces where we can all kind of get together and hang out like this. That's really important to me. Yesterday, Sherry and I did our first ever vertical live stream oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the Tokyo Lens Shorts it's... channel. Those are so much fun. Yeah, it was fun. Like, vertical... Vertical content isn't for everybody, and that's total. I, uh, does that does that work? I I don't know what I'm doing. I did I break it? I feel like I broke it. And so a lot of people just don't like vertical content. That is totally cool, which is why I've like put everything on its own separate channel. Right. So, but like I don't have to do thumbnails. I don't have to do prep. I don't have to do any. I can just literally just hit the button and go live and we can have a good time, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna keep the camera this way, mostly because we have like a giant group of kids <laughs> walking towards us and they, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and keep them off camera for now. Oh my oh, God, they're, they're everywhere. Are. There's so many. They come over here to this wall. Look at the today wall. Today is the only like sunny day and a warm yep. day of all week. Yep, so. They need sunlight. They need sunlight. And then look at this, you got like, look over here as well. So it, like the, the, the temple and shrineage continued. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Sherry like just didn't even notice. Like didn't even see it. And can somebody get a business visa to do YouTube content? If you start, uh, so I haven't looked into the recent laws, so I don't know the business categorizations, but you need something like, what is it, 5 million yen? Yeah. You need to Just invest start. 5 million yen into starting a corporation in Japan. You need to have a workspace, an office, stuff and like that. you need to have a Japanese partner. Yeah, you gotta have a Japanese like business partner attached to it. Now, I like recommend actually looking into it. Um, there's a very, very limited number of like YouTubers who are going to be able to give you accurate advice in a stream. What's up, Sherry? However, I know like Japanese government is working on like a startup uh, like visa. Yep. So like that one is actually you can get a government support. Okay. And I haven't looked into details yet because like they haven't really like announced it like you know like, in public like openly. Yeah. But uh, like the, the the purpose of that is to make it more uh, easy for foreigners to get a business visa. Okay. Instead of business in Japan. Because like you like print bring like five million yen and they find a Japanese partner yep, and yep. it's like that is almost impossible. It's very, very difficult. So, so. if I were you I would just look into uh, the startup visa. Startup visa, look in so and they've got a new digital nomad visa coming as well and like yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
So there's a lot, oh my goodness, it's like a minefield of children. <laughs> okay, all right, let's take our opportunity now and jaywalk. <laughs> I'm jaywalking and this is Tokyo Lens. I love it, I actually, like I really wanna make jaywalking merch. Ah. Jim386 uh, in here saying, thanks for showing not so common parts of Tokyo. Greetings from Peru, thank you. For, I would say Akihabara is fairly common, but I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so much. And I'm gonna try and get like around this corner before the little ones yeah. hit over there. So this will enable us to do yet another layer of jaywalking layer walking and this should bring us up along the train tracks there's some pretty cool stuff over here it's a minefield of children okay I think I think we've escaped the little ones for now and you know what that light is green there but I'm still gonna jaywalk because I know how happy it makes people. There we go. I can't believe it's 10 a.m. over there and the streets are empty. I do everything I can to find and follow the emptiest streets because otherwise, the, the streets are definitely not empty, eh? Like yeah. if we were to go on the main streets, it is crowded and busy. I just know this area well enough to know where the quiet streets are gonna be. Damn it, there's nowhere to cross here. All right, we'll go up here and we'll cross like normal people. I just always feel so disappointed in myself when I have to do that. <laughs> so we're right now in the back end of Akihabara. And we'll come up here. There's a whole bunch along. So there used to be a secret Ginza line station right over here. Yeah, it's, it still exists. And every year, once a year for like just one day, sometimes they'll, not every year, <laughs> every year, sometimes, <laughs> occasionally, one day a year, they'll turn on the lights of the station so that when you're passing through, you can actually see the platform and whatnot. What? Yeah. So the Ginza line was the first ever like metro line in Tokyo. It was hand dug between Asakusa and Ueno. Did you say hand dug? Hand, by hand, what? yeah. <laughs> so, it, and another minefield of children. Um, the Asakusa, Tawaramachi, Sue, uh, Asakusa, Tawaramachi, Inaricho, Ueno. That, like, now there's a box of children. There's so many children to be avoided. And so, down there, you see that bridge way out there? That is Manseibashi. After uh, Suehirocho, the next station is Kanda. Yeah. There used to be Manseibashi Station. Oh. Yeah. So, Manseibashi Station got shut down, and now there's a lot of these like little places here that you can like sit out on the patio and have breakfast or brunch or lunch or anything. Cool. You haven't done the rivers with me yet, have you? No, I don't think so. So we, that's okay. That's going to be part of your Tokyo experience. <laughs> We've got to rent a boat. Uh, I'll still go to the river deck. Yeah. The river side, but like the river, river. We, yeah, no, we yeah. got to rent a boat and go cool. through here. Hey, you can like go under like bridges and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I go through here all the time. What? Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> I'm excited. So, and then you can safely look at the box of children from the water. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Yep. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Children. Maybe like a little like exercise before lunch. We can't escape them. They're everywhere. So yeah, the you get access. Oh my God, it's so windy to all the restaurants and whatnot up on this side. So rude. The wind has no no manners. Oh. Yeah, you get, at night they're bars and whatnot. During the day they're like cafes 
and all that. This is a decent place for lunch. And like, see? You got like a nice lunch set in there. Like a lot of people like think that Tokyo is more expensive than the countryside. Uh. But, like looking at things like this, it's like kind of similar. It's kind of nice similar. Tokyo is definitely not more expensive than the countryside. I let me get out of the, the noise. So I've now lived in both. Right. I've now lived in, in Tokyo and. I spent a great deal of time living out in uh, Kagoshima, in the countryside. It is way more expensive to live in the countryside. Way more expensive. If you can find an affordable place to live, which I found, yeah. right? If you can find a moderately affordable place to live, Tokyo is so much easier, convenient, and cheaper. Yeah. I spend more on gas than I do on all my train rides. Not to mention car payments, insurance, everything like yeah. that. Yeah, Every, the countryside is so much more challenging and so much more expensive. But that has to be a talk for another time. We've got to start doing apartment hunting. That is all going to happen on Sherry's channel. If one of the mods could link Sherry's channel, it's Sherry Bear, at SherryBerryJP. We're going to be doing apartment hunting. This wind is crazy. We're going to be doing apartment hunting out on Sherry's channel in the weeks to come. So the next live stream will be over there. There is a cage full of children here. Yep. That is where the, there's like a whole, there's a caged box full of children. And thank you guys so much for hanging out today. And you know we will see you again. Real soon. Real soon. Bye bye guys. Okay, actually, I love to do fake endings, and everyone thinks that I end it, and then a bunch of people leave, and they don't get to see the actual, like, the real ending. So, yay for that. Yay. Yay. Well, you tricked me, too. Really? Yeah. And no, apartment hunting with Sherry and me. That is the apartment hunting. And... I, we've come over, like, the other side of the tracks now. I, the, the busy area of Akihabara is actually over there. So, okay. Oh, we got like Richard in here. Richard. Uh, so windy. Hey, thank you, Richard. Uh, Richard in here with a super chat saying, Hey, Norm, long time no chat. Glad to see you're still doing great stuff. Still planning on return. Uh, still planning on returning, not Japan. In the meantime, I watch you. Always appreciate you having here. Thank you so much. And guys, we'll end it on that one. Hope the rest of your day is beautiful and I will see you all again real soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sherry. Bye.